Hi everybody, my name is Ms. Fredericks and I am the Student Supports Manager at Gonzales Scholastic Academy with communities and schools. Shout out to all my GSA Panthers who I miss very much. I'm here to talk to you today through the What We Are Made Of campaign from communities and schools about innovation. And I'm going to teach you how to innovate a little bit and get creative to make our own sensory bottles from things you have in your house. A sensory bottle is a calming and peaceful tool that you can use to help children regulate their emotions and help redirect focus, um, calm anxieties. It can even be used as a, a simple toy or a timer. I think it's really useful right now that I've been using it to help, help me while I'm staring at the screen all day in meetings and in virtual learning to help me something tangible that we can really hold on to and focus our energy on to, to remove our eyes from the screen and to have something in front of us that's um, real that we can focus on. Here is everything that you will need in order to make your simple sensory bottle. You need basic a bottle, you need water, you need some type of oil to make the bottle a little slow. You need something to add color to your bottle. You need objects to put inside. I walked around my house to see what I could find um, and came up with some holiday garland that I cut for some beads. I found some old earrings that had some things on it that I was able to put in. found some glitter, which makes it look really fun. And I found a little baby rubber ducky. And you need some glue to seal it. We are ready to make our sensory bottle. Filled it about halfway with water to start. And I'm gonna add the vegetable oil. Leave some room for your color if you're using something other than food coloring. Adding some color, see how it turns out. And now we get to add our objects and some beads. Gonna add in a little, little pineapple, my ribbon, rubber ducky if ducky fits. And now I'm gonna add in a little bit of glitter. It makes it sparkly. So whatever you have, this can be an activity your whole family can make one together and everyone is gonna turn out different and that's the beauty of this. Don't forget to also add the glue or if you have some tape, you can put it around. I'm gonna shake it up. And this one's made with the Gatorade bottle. This one has a lot of bubbles. This one has, you can see the objects. It's light colored. First time I made it, it didn't turn out so great, so I tried again with some different ingredients. I added a little bit of some sticky beads on because I had them to add to the sensory effects and because I can tend to drop things, so it helps me hold on to it. And that is our simple sensory bottle. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Remember, have fun with this, explore. There is no right or wrong. It is uh, meant to be a fun activity, and then you're left with a fun um, toy or tool that you and your family can enjoy. Share pictures of the sensory bottles you've made. I'd, I'd love to see them. And wishing everyone in my GSA and communities and schools family a wonderful week. And remember to keep on innovating and reaching out and caring for each other.